Children with Down syndrome show a distinctive phenotype. The phenotype is the observable physical properties of an organism. These include the organism's appearance, development and behavior. In Down syndrome, the phenotype is characterized by a delay in psychomotor development, deficit in the attention and warning system, difficulties in language acquisition, difficulty processing auditory and verbal information, alterations of memory and executive deficit. Let's comment on each of these characteristics. I'm going to start with the delay in psychomotor development. It's observed that in comparison with the general population, motor development usually happens in the same order, but at later ages. We have some characteristics of Down syndrome that can affect the development of motor skills such as low muscle tone, laxity of ligaments, in other words, we have a lack of tension in the ligaments, reduction of body strength, and the upper and lower extremities are shorter. Because of these characteristics, it's possible to observe in Down syndrome slowness in movements, poor hand-eye coordination, Hand-eye coordination is the ability that allows us to perform activities in which we have to use our eyes and our hands. The eyes fix an objective and the hands execute a specific task. There is also a lack of balance. And finally, we have a lack of fine and gross motor skills. Here, I want to make a parenthesis to comment on what are the fine and gross motor skills? Motor skills are motions carried out when the brain, nervous system, muscles work together. On the one hand, fine motor skills are a small movement, such as picking at a small object, for example, holding a spoon. Fine motor skills use the small muscles of fingers, toes, wrists, lips, tongue. On the other hand, gross motor skills are the bigger movements, such as rolling over and sitting. Gross motor skills use the large muscles in the legs, arms, torso, feet. Let's continue with another alteration that can happen in Down syndrome. Deficit in attention and alert system. Scatter and disconnected behavior can happen. In other words, we can observe a behavior not directed to a specific objective. We can also see a little interest in the environmental stimuli. We observe also the tendency to focus on the less relevant aspects of the situation and forget the most relevant, the most significant aspects of the situation. Because of this, they can be easily distracted and they are very sensitive to the environmental interference. Now we have another alteration that we can find in Down syndrome. Obvious alteration in the acquisition and development of language. Communication difficulties are observed even before the appearance of language. As we know, the development of the spoken language is the result of the emotional and social interactions that the child established with their environment. In children with Down syndrome, the interaction, the social and emotional interaction are altered, which has a negative influence on the acquisition of language. There is also a delay in the appearance of the smile and eye contact, which are essential in the initiation and maintenance of communication. Once the language has been acquired, the expressive capacity is lower than the capacity of understanding. In other words, they know what they want to say, but they have difficulties transmitting their own ideas. They also show a little communicative intention and they also don't respect 
the communication rules like keep their speaking time, keep the adequate distance with the person speaking. Now we have another alteration that may happen in Down syndrome. Alteration of memory. Here we have short-term memory and long-term memory. Let's begin with short-term memory. Short-term memory is very limited especially for auditory and verbal material. Difficulty consolidating newly acquired knowledge which has an impact on slower learning. We also see difficulty retaining information. So the brevity of the message and repetition can help them to consolidate the information in the memory. Now, let's continue with long-term memory. The long-term memory is less affected. The implicit memory is usually intact. The implicit memory is the one that operates automatically and unconsciously. An example of implicit memory could be learning to recognize faces of people. On the contrary, they present difficulty in remembering information stored in a conscious way. In this case, we refer to explicit memory. An example of explicit memory could be memories of the past events of the life of the individual. And finally, we have an executive deficit. Planning capabilities may be altered. There is a resistance of change. They may have difficulties adapting to new situations. After talking a little about some characteristics of Down syndrome, it seems clear that an interdisciplinary work is necessary. On the one hand, advances in medicine have managed to address the problems, health problems of this population and increase life expectancy. Some health problems can be heart disease, endocrine disorders, digestive disorders. On the other hand, the early intervention program intervene in the academic and social integration. These programs are focused on the cognitive and emotional difficulties that these children present. Generally, Down syndrome is detected during pregnancy through a screen test during the first three months of pregnancy. And finally, the intervention must be adapted to the characteristics of children in each stage of their life. The inclusion in the normalized school context favors the learning and development and how to achieve an adequate degree of autonomy. The collaboration of the family is fundamental, social and emotional integration of the child. So this was just a little about the early development of children with Down syndrome.